I will be short, so you will not suffer too much from my horrible English. This one, yes, I show it. Uh, but I want to to tell you a story about Leontiev. I came from Brazil, and I came to hear about uh, Brazil, about Leontiev in the 60s, when the government of Brazil uh, looked for a model to find what input will create the bigger output in Brazil economy. They decided to go to the car industry and they created a lot of car industries and uh, based it on the assumption that the car industry will create the bigger development in other industries, in service, in roads, in infrastructures, in jobs, etc. And indeed, from mid-60s uh, to mid-70s, Brazil had a growth rate of about 10% a year, all due to Leontief. What we are looking for is to find in Israel the input, the minimal input that will create a maximal output in the use of the internet and hopefully in the development of the Israeli society. society. Uh, whoops. Oh, I came back. <laughs> The first idea that we, uh, or concept that we want to have ideas is how to enhance access. Access can be from different uh, things. First, ATTH, access to the home. That means enough bandwidth at a fair price. What's enough, what is a fair price? is a thing to, to discuss, but in general, that's what we want to, to have ideas, how we can increase the access of the population to the internet, physically, technically. The other is the access to underserved populations. We uh, identify two underserved populations that use the, the internet less than the average is the Orthodox Jews, what's called Haredim, uh, and the Arab-speaking citizens. The other the, uh, type of access is access that is not uh, uh, limited to a certain technological platform, the use uh, of internet with open standards. And of course, access to content, uh, mainly Public funded content must have public access to it. It's not uh, every time the case here. The other concept is the concept of trust and identity. Many people, mainly the two population that I uh, talked about, uh, have some restriction to the use of the internet uh, because they, they fear they cannot trust it in many uh, aspects. The first is uh, the trust that people are not uh, looking at about what the user is doing. There is an interesting uh, project in ISOC about a plugin that permits every user to make an audit and monitoring of people trying to get information about them. The other is the importance of a network stability. We have some uh, uh, security agencies in Israel that are looking about the network stability for security reasons. We don't have in Israel a civilian CERT that cooperate in the civilian area to, 
to make the network more stable. And of course, the trust of identity includes the issues of privacy, uh, and we are looking for ideas that can uh, implement the idea that about nothing about me without me. The truth is that the, the law, the privacy law in Israel, uh, have the principle uh, of nothing about me without me. We are looking for ideas how to implement that in Israel. The third concept is the concept of choice. We are looking for ideas that enhance the, the possibility of choice uh, by the user. First, the participation in decision. People out there in the tents on the, or on the, the streets yesterday, they are asking for more participation in the decision process. It's true that uh, ECOV or GOVIL, it's a very successful uh, initiative that gives a very good service for the citizens of Israel. The problem is that it gives a service for us as consumers. It increases the efficiency of the government, make, making the payment of uh, bills to the government or having uh, forms more easily. What we are looking for is for ideas that not only improve the efficiency of the government, that means how to do things, but also the effectiveness. People want to influence what to do, not only how to do things. For this, we have we need a new paradigm so people on the streets, on the tents, and on the computer can be involved in the decision process. Uh, an open market, multiple alternatives, no monopolies. We, we know, for instance, about the uh, high community, Vadat Haik, that's trying to to do to to offer a bundled service that some of the consumers think it's good for them. <coughs> it means that the carrier will be the same uh, supplier as the service. The current situation now is unbundled service, and uh, we think that an unbundled service can be better for the consumer to make his choice, what he prefers. And of course, lowering entrance barriers to every field from technical to content, so we can uh, make an incentive to new players and to innovation. But less transparency. We want to know what's going on. Uh, the principles of uh, network uh, neutrality that includes the, the access and choice includes also the need for the ISPs to tell us what is their policy in traffic shaping. Because let's be realistic, traffic shaping exists is even necessary for technological reasons. It always be <clears throat> has been done since the beginning of the internet. But what is happening now is that we don't know exactly what's the policy in traffic shaping. The other problem that uh, is the liability of the intermediary. Uh, we are uh, in court with the police that uh, the police uh, of Israel that uh, made a a warrant to the ISPs to block certain uh, uh, sites, betting sites, and uh, the problem of the liability of the intermediary can be much more uh, limit the access. We want to know exactly what is happening. 
of course, the freedom of information. And WYSIWYG, I understand that everyone knows what uh, is it. What you see is what you get. The problem is that uh, we have some players in the market that are playing WYSIWYG. What you see is what you deserve. So what you are looking for is for more use. I wanted to, to write more meaningful use, but meaningful as to many letters. So I compromise it with wise. Enable access, increase choice, enforcing transparency, and inspiring trust. Uh, we would like very much to have uh, as many as possible IDs, so you can uh, find uh, the better ways where we can make our action plans for the next years. I am sure that uh, if uh, somebody has some problems with uh, uh, the English, as I do, uh, uh, can uh, take and uh, ask for uh, uh, permission to talk in Hebrew and Yesha will be happy to translate it to English so don't, don't feel shy because as we say the internet is for everyone for Vint and for Belt 